Let's start to learn how to code. The first language we'll be starting with is HTML. As we've mentioned before, HTML is the backbone of what we see on the user or the client side of the internet. From buttons to navigation menus to headers and footers, HTML is the heart of front-end development. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, which, as a markup language, it allows us to display everything we see on the web. HTML is made up of elements, and these elements are the building blocks of the web. Each element contains two parts, their tags and their content. Now, depending on how the element is used, these can differ, but let's look at the general structure of a tag to understand them better. A tag opens with a left angle bracket, followed by the name of the element, and then a right angle bracket. This is known as the opening tag. Depending on whether or not the element is self-closing, there will be a closing tag as well. These are similar in structure, but contain one key piece, a forward slash that indicates that it is the closing tag. In between these two tags that we now have is where your content will live. Now, depending on what type of element you're using and its purpose, you'll put different types of content between these two tags. There are dozens of different elements that are used in HTML. There are text-based elements such as headers and paragraphs, as well as more structure-focused elements such as dividers and sections. If we're building a text-based element, like a header for instance, we'll choose which size of header, let's go with h1 for now, and then add our text as the content in between the two tags. However, sometimes we'll have an element that doesn't take any content, a self-closing element as I mentioned earlier. In this case, the element will take only attributes. Attributes are made up of two parts, the name of the attribute and the value that is given to it. Attributes can be used on both paired as well as self-closing elements. One example of a self-closing element is the image element. The image element takes attributes like the source of where the image is coming from, as well as an alt prop for accessibility or if the image fails to load. 